Okay, this is the Medina. Let's go inside and have a look. This is also the sales office, so there's certain places I'm not going to be entering, which is typically the garage. And I do think that I have some of the videos of this model as well in other communities. see some of the stuff that's used the different collections It's a big room. Next, select your home site. Are you looking for privacy or convenience? Do you want to Let's take a look at the pantry. Using the website to interact with map tool, you can familiarize yourself with the community and select a home site with best fit to your needs. Next, master bedroom, a very large master bedroom. big master closet and here we have another closet towel closet it's kind of like you got two nice closets you got a big one this one's a big one and then there's a toilet in the closet but the shower this shower is really big let me flip this around let me flip this around so arms are extended and um, Let's see, so it's probably 10, I don't know, maybe 12 feet or so. And then walk into the walk into the shower. Let's, let's do this. So you can see again, just a huge shower. Oh yeah, up there's a rain shower head. Am I getting it? Maybe. Got a rain shower head. Prior to being a realtor, I purchased a house without a realtor and then with a realtor who had no construction training, no construction certification. And I can tell you that it's extremely important to have a realtor with construction certification. Here's how to get my service paid for by the builder free to you. Please contact me first before you contact any home builder. When you contact the home builder first, you may lose your paid for by the builder realtor representation. If you email them, call them, text them, go to the sales office, walk the models anything that they can match up at the time of contract they may say you cannot use a realtor please don't contact the builder and ask what their policies are either because that would be your first contact you see how this works when I went to purchase my first house I was given terrible advice everybody told me I had to pay for a realtor which is just not true I had no realtor and it was terrible from start to finish it was exhausting I was treated poorly at sales offices and after I signed my contract the salesperson basically vanished on me it was just a terrible experience when I purchased my second house I knew I needed a realtor so I started searching I encountered top sellers who seemed impressive but they were just high pressure sales they were telling me to go to the builder tell them I'm your realtor when you pick out the house you want contact me and I'll come down and help you they would show me two homes three homes ask me which one do I want to buy many of them couldn't even respond properly to an email which is much like when I help my buyers to find resale homes many of the realtors that are selling these homes it's like they don't even read what you wrote so my 
my realtor ended up being a new realtor. He was loyal. He went with me to like 20 builders that I picked out. He wasn't selling me out to sales associates. He wasn't selling me out to other realtors. He wasn't selling me out to resale home sellers. He was no doubt on my side. So like most realtors, the realtor that I picked had no construction training, no certification. At the time, I didn't even consider it. As we went from house to house with new construction, with resales, there were times I had questions and he didn't know or he was kind of guessing and he would at least tell me he's just guessing. The information that I received was incorrect. I realized that home inspectors are there to look over a house and find issues with them. But let's face it, the home inspector is with you for two hours, three hours looking at the house that you're interested in buying. Your realtor is with you, if the realtor is a good realtor, for potentially six months, 12 months while a new construction house is being built. Your realtor is going to be the one that's going to be there with you when you're dealing with rude, obnoxious construction managers that are lying to you when the home is built incorrectly and they just want you to just go away. They want you to just sign, say the house is okay, or it's going to be passed off the warranty, and that's it. So having a realtor without construction background is not a good idea. And if I was going to be buying a house in another state, even though I have a home inspector's license and I am trained, I would still want to find a realtor that is construction trained because the more eyes, the better. Everybody's going to spot something different. Just some quick tips. Just want you to understand that. I believe in a comprehensive realtor service where I can answer and guide and look at home inspection reports and have an understanding of what's going on and how to help my buyers best. Thanks for watching this. Back to the video. At richnotohomes.com, find the house you're looking for in Central Florida, Orlando, Kissimmee area. Are you interested in a full-time living residential house or a vacation home? Investing in a rental income property? Thinking about selling your home? Look no further than richnotohomes.com. Dependable help from start to finish. Don't make a mistake along the way. Go to richnotohomes.com.